Russian forces escalated attacks on populated urban areas in Ukraine today, even bombing Kyiv's main TV tower. People around the world are trying to find ways to help Ukraine, and a local Ukrainian-born woman is creating special keychains to help her friends and family still trapped in the country. As News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, while she can't make it back home to fight, her heart is for Ukraine. In the corner of a West Nashville apartment complex commons area, the somewhat soothing sound of a working sewing machine hums away. This is my little project, Hearts for Ukraine. Uh, it's meant to help my friends and family. The signature blue and yellow we've come to recognize as support for Ukraine, shaped in a heart attached to metal links. For $15, this is what hope looks like. I chose to use this design because I believe that love and hope is all we need right now. Ina Bednarska has been here for four years, but she was born in Donetsk, Ukraine. The past week has been awful for her, but for the many family members and friends she has in the country, it's the kind of hell only war brings. The moment I started making these little hearts with the help of my friend, I, I felt a little bit better. It's you know a form of my therapy because I know I'm making something. At first, Bednarska donated her own money, but she realized she would need more for her multiple cousins who are still in the country and her 86-year-old grandmother who fled Kyiv last week, but who Bednarska wants to escape to Poland. And so she decided to do what she's good at. The amount of love and hope and support that I got from all of my friends here, it's just, it's, it's really, it's just, it's more than I could ever imagine and hope for. And if there are other people who also want to help, I, I'll be glad to, to share this little project of mine. Blue and yellow keychains, reused from old airline seats and string. Benarska says it's material that's been in the sky, which is where she wants to be, flying home. But since she can't, it serves as a contrast to the bombs raining down near her loved ones. So on one hand, I'm sorry that I'm not there fighting alongside, but we are fighting in our little local way, and I hope maybe someone will join me in this fight. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Bednarska has an Instagram page called Hearts for Ukraine, where there's a link to purchase the keychains. We'll also put this information on our website.